Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for heading over and joining me here on my channel. I have a project share of some packaging idea for you and I use Shabby Art Boutique's uh, Ginger Kisses Digital Kit Collection as part of uh, Shabby Art Boutique's design team and I'll show you the uh, packaging uh, that I have made and so Kerry Ann who is the owner of Shabby Art Boutique, she must have read my mind because I wanted to package some more sweets and treats for my neighbor's children uh, they have four lovely adorable children and i came across uh, these uh, gingerbread cookies at our local supermarket here in sydney um, it's from coles so if you are in sydney and you have a coles nearby uh, these gingerbread cookies are delicious. Uh, my craft room smelled so delicious. It had the smell of ginger and spices and the delicious cookie smell. And so um, they still, they may still have these available in the bakery section. And these were just perfect. And the size of the gingerbread was just perfect for me to package. So I was going to use the Ginger Kisses kit collection, which you can purchase at her Etsy store. But then Kerry Ann had uh, sent emails out uh, to those that are part of her newsletter. And if you are part of the newsletter and you subscribe to, to the newsletter, you are able to have access to her free printables. And she had just uh, sent the email through of these uh, three uh, Ginger Kisses mini kit uh, free printables that you can print as much as you like for your personal use. So I thought this would be perfect for me to uh, use these to package the sweets and the gingerbread cookies in. And um, she had just come at the right time uh, emailing these through. And these are instant downloads. You could uh, download them in an A4 size or a letter size. I'll put down below to Shabby Art Boutique's uh, website if you would like to um, be a member and subscribe and receive her newsletter so you could receive her gorgeous free printables uh, and also uh, updates on what's coming up with uh, some sneak peeks of her collection and so these are just so pretty you get three sheets in the mini kit and these would be perfect to coordinate with your uh, ginger kisses uh, digital kit if you had purchased that from her etsy store but let me just show you you get two background uh, full sheets and this one is just so adorable and there is a recipe too like at the background of it so it's just a perfect perfect background and it's like got a wood grain sort of uh, background to that one and then this is the other uh, other background sheet how adorable is this isn't that just so cute and she designs her own images she's a fantastic artist just beautiful work Carrie Ann just does amazing work I love all of her digitals and they're just so easy to work with and this is one of the the other sheet which you can fussy cut these gorgeous images and I used all of these images in my packaging which I'll show you in just a sec and I wasn't left with much left and it was just enough for me to package the goodies that I wanted to um, show you so let me show you what I made but these printables are, were just perfect so thank you Kerry Ann for the free printables they are just perfect to work with so let me bring my um, packaging so I'll start with this one first this one's a pretty easy one to put together I just use some cellophane uh, gift wrap uh, sort of clear bag and I put some shredded paper inside it just to puff up the packaging and these are the gingerbread cookies they are so nice i actually had a couple of them I, I waited to see how many i was able to package and i ate two because it was they just smelled so nice and i'm left with just one gingerbread left which i'm gonna eat that one for later so what i've done with this one i added one of the little tags and that's this tag here and then there was another little circle piece here that I had punched out, which I'll show you, which is from another packaging. So I didn't want to waste it. So I just 
added that together with the tag and there's some Christmas bells and I just uh, closed it with some jute twine so there's about four or five pieces in there so be perfect to gift so that's the first one and then this one here um, I just use the this image here as a bag topper so that's this one here which is so pretty so I just fussy cut that out uh, the bow I also added other elements from the ginger kisses uh, kit uh, just to add to the embellishing to some of the packaging so this is this bow is from the ginger kisses kit as well as the poinsettia I also had um, a pack of these uh, Christmas themed chipboards so that was perfect to just add there and then this is some of the background paper that was this one and all I done was cut out some cardstock and just fold it in half um, about so high to create the bag topper and then I layered it with the uh, images and I also placed some background paper inside just to decorate the packaging and this one was also uh, from this paper here so I had hardly any wasted paper pretty much used every little piece of paper from the little uh, free mini kit uh, I also made another easy packaging ID here this one here I use two tags these are the large tags from the uh, ginger kisses uh, kit from the Etsy store from a shabby arts Etsy store so I cut out the two tags and then I cut out another little piece of paper and fold that in half uh, and then I join the two tags together I'll open this up I'll just open up so you can see what I've done and then I'll just I'll close it back up later and you can also see the other images so this is another one of the chipboard pieces I'm just trying to get this out and this was also from the free printable as well as the button and it's this one here so you can see so it's uh, this one here and then that's the little button so I used the button up here punched a couple of holes and then I fussy cut this little piece and this uh, ticket coupon shaped gingerbread image was from the ginger kisses kit as well as the two tags and then i punched a hole on one of the tags and that's the hole of the circle part that i placed on this one here so that's the negative part or the circle part that i punched out of this one and all i've done was i just added um, a double-sided tape and you just sort of gently open it up and the packaged gingerbread is inside and you just open it from the bottom here and you take out the gingerbread cookie so what I've done you can see here I had added a, a strip of paper fold that in half and I just glued the two ends to the bottom of the tags and then it folds up and that's the spine or the folded part of the join of the tag so it's pretty easy just cut a strip and then I just punched a circle using my circle punch from the tag and then I just placed some double-sided tape to the backing of the packaging stuck it to the tag and then I added a little piece of double-sided tape there just to secure it in place and stuck the button punched a couple of holes and then finished it off with some of the twine with the tag and one of the little chipboards so that's that one this one's really fun to put together you could also if you wanted to you could because it's just sort of a hollow hole you can even add some clear uh, packaging paper to here and glue it onto there to create a window if you wanted to do that so that's that one so that's a three and then I also made uh, a treat bag 
I don't think this is a, a cute one. I love the image, so I, I tried to make this one to create as a treat bag. In one of my other project share videos, I did a tutorial as well. I made these treat bags using the Jingle Christmas Digital Kit, and that's also available uh, at Shabby Art Boutique's Etsy store. And so these were the treat bags that I had made, but I made this one different to how I assembled this one. I have a tutorial for this one as well, so I'll put the link down below for the treat bag tutorial. This one I've done differently because I wanted to see, I wanted this image to be shown on the front. And if I had done it this way, uh, if, let me see, if, if you look at the back, I made the join in the middle. So if I was to do that, I would have had to go like that. I see the back would be, that would be the join in the middle. And this would be the front and then that part would be where you add your treats which then means i won't be able to see the image so what i've done uh, to do this one i made the joint here along the side at the back so that i could see this so i had folded the, the paper this way and just tucked a little bit on this side in to seal off the side and then i was able to add my treat from the up the top there and then the image was shown in the front and it was perfect a perfect size for my packaging uh, that I've got inside here so if you were to make your packaging you will want to make it according to your packaging size so I made all of mine to the packaging size of my clear bags so you'll just have to do the same with your um, your one so the bigger your packaging would of your clear bags will be bigger the packaging size for your papers but these are the two gingerbread cookies and some chocolate santas in there this word eat is from the ginger kisses kit and the background paper that's in the at the back here is also this one so it's the same as i had use for this one here it just looks nice if I put some background paper in there it just sort of makes it look more you can see the what's inside the bags this way so that's that one and then I wrap some twine and this cute little cup saucer image is this one and then I just punched a hole on the top to create a tag and then I can write the message at the back this is one of the other uh, chipboard that I placed on there so that's that one and I forgot to show you the back of this one this is the tag one um, I did the gingerbread word was also this one here just so you know isn't it look how cute this is it's just a cutie. All right, so that's that one. And I've also made another packaging. And it's this one. Sort of like a chip pack uh, packaging. I scored a few whole, uh, scored a few lines on the top and the bottom. And I used my pinking shears to create one of these sort of packages. And then you sort of just tear it open to get the gingerbread out and then I punched out um, a circle I use a circle die to uh, punch out the circle because my circle punch wouldn't go far enough up up the top to create the window but if you don't have a die or if you don't have a circle punch you can just cut out like a maybe a two by two inch size square or whatever size you want your window to be and then just place on the top and just use uh, like your uh, paper cutter and just cut um, around it to remove the window part so you could do it that way and this uh, oven mitten with all of these lovely images that are inside the mitten is this one 
nice and detailed. So that's that one there, and I used that, and I just stuck that to the front. Uh, the sugar and spice is also from this one here. So I use that one, and I use that one. And the background paper is this one. So that's this, that one there. And that's the back. So this is fun to make. I then had a couple of leftover images, which was this one and this one. So I've used all of those. And these two, and I fussy cut, this is like an envelope shape. And this is just a plain, like a little note card shape. And I just made a couple of little cards or note cards that I could probably use to add to my gifts or to send the messages. And these are the two that I've, I've made. So that's those two. So this one is um, a little note card. So I've just done that. And this uh, background paper is from the Ginger Kisses kit as well as this one. And this background paper was this one here. And it was the circle part that I had uh, die cut from this part here. So I removed the circle part and I just adhered it to the back just to create, um, to decorate the white part of the back. And she looks cute popping out. And I could write on here. And this is the gingerbread um, a word cut out and I just added a bow and again I've done the same thing like I've done with the tag so it was the same way just made it into like a little booklet so that's that one and with the other one I also done the same just to make it into like a little card uh, using this cute large envelope size with the bow. So I just fussy cut that out. I punched the top, added some organza ribbon. And then inside is the same. This was the large tag from the Ginger Kisses kit. And this is one of the labels. Uh, let's see if I've got, I've got that. some left here to show you. This is the Ginger Kisses kit. And you get quite a few of those on the sheet as well. So I cut one out. I did have to resize a little bit so it will fit on the back of the image here. So I could write on here. So that's that one. So these were all of the fun little projects and packaging ID that I use with the free Ginger Kisses uh, mini kit. And these are the three sheets. And it is... A, it is um, ready for you to print out now um, if you have received the email and I'll put all the links down below to Shabby Art Boutique and Kerry Ann's uh, online uh, her website uh, YouTube as well as her Facebook group and I hope you enjoy my project share and I'll see you all soon bye for now